Volkswagen is going to introduce uh, what it looks like to be a Model X, Tesla Model X competitor in the next few weeks at the Shanghai show. And uh, this is yet another electric vehicle, fully electric vehicle in their beautiful lineup here. It's a beautiful picture. Now we haven't seen one in production yet. It is coming. So we'll talk about uh, what this means for Volkswagen Group. Are they able to, you know, to compete with, with the Model X? Um, and then we're just going to go and see what other cars they kind of have in the lineup and, and what's coming up for all of us in reality in the next year which ones are going to be out there uh in the future so all of this is coming up next Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, all you have to do is click on that subscribe button so you don't miss anything moving forward, but most importantly, become a part of this community. All right, let's talk about Volkswagen Group. Now, by the way, can I just say this is a beautiful picture? Um, I'll take the one on the right, please. But yeah, so as you can see, these are all of the uh, uh, promises, if you will, in color, promises in color uh, um, that they have made for us. Now, uh, compared to many other brands, I do believe these promises. I can't wait for them to start become a reality, but it does seem like this brand, you know, uh, Volkswagen under the umbrella of Volkswagen Group is actually serious about it. They invested billions of dollars into their uh, 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 battery uh, relationship, battery supply relationships, into their factories and so forth. So I have no doubt it's happening. And of course, the other Volkswagen Group brands like Audi, you know, has the e-tron in production now. Uh, people in my e-tron uh, uh, owner Facebook group are now saying that they're receiving their car. So I know there's a delay and I did a video about that uh, a, a few days ago. But nevertheless, uh, Porsche Taycan looks like to be on track as well to hit the market at the end of the year. Um, so Volkswagen Group overall doing well, but Volkswagen brand needs to finally come up with one. And we'll go we'll go over that as well. Now, let me show you a picture. This one now, all of their names are they're having ZZ in them, right? There's like Buzz and, and Cross and Vision and stuff like that. That's fine. You know, get it. I get it. It's cool. But this one's called Volkswagen Rooms, R O. O M Z Z. Now I don't know about this one. Okay, so let me show you the picture. So um, this is uh, there's only a couple of drawings of what they're going to be uh, like. Uh, it's cool. I actually kind of like the the um, uh, white accents right there. See, uh, let me let me go uh, full screen on there. See on top, I kind of like that. I don't know what those little two things on top are like their antennas or that's where the horn go. I don't know, but but looks looks kind of cool. I have to say that the new designs of Volkswagen, I actually I, I dig that. And um, so here's a, there's another picture, I believe. Um, yeah, that's just of a headlight. Um, cool, but you know, just I'm just gonna wear. These are the two ones that they've released. Um, and of course, they're gonna be competing with these guys uh, with the Model X. Uh, it's gonna be in what fourth or fifth year of production. Okay. Oh, so this one's gonna be unveiled at the Shanghai. Um, this one's going to be available at the Shanghai show, which is uh, at the end of this month, um, and it's going into production in 2021, so not that far off, but they're going to start selling them in China first, which is interesting. I mean, this is something that, you know, Biden's doing and a few other companies uh, are doing where they're just releasing it in China first. I'm assuming it's just an easier release at this point, um, especially if they're making them in China, then then it's even easier. So I kind of understand, but it, it, they haven't announced the dates for the um, uh, for the release of this car in Europe and um, and here in the United States and Canada and to be honest with you they didn't give us too many specs which you know at this point I kind of I can totally live without the specs because people throw out the specs like they oh it's going to be 300 miles and this listen just just commit that you're going to be producing uh, an SUV um, show us a few pictures and I'm happy uh, for now as long as the you know going along with the plan okay so um Let's, uh, by the way, what is up with the signatures in these pictures, right? Like they're signing them like it's like Salvador Dali paintings or something like that. Like all of these paintings that, that they have the, the signature on the bottom. I don't know. Anyway, so, um, all right. So let's walk through uh, what they got right now. Uh, and the car that's coming out, actually, uh, I believe is going to be production later this year. Um, just to kind of, uh, again, walk through this. Uh, a plan that they have that's pretty, you know, it's a pretty short leash there, two to three years to release all all of these babies, right? Um, except for the one on the right. Let me just, I don't know, that Batmobile looks pretty cool, but uh, but that one's in a, in a, uh, the, the buggy on the left. But I think that one is the easiest to bring to the production. So 
All right, so uh, let's talk about that. Before that, of course, I want to uh, remind you guys that this video and uh, this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out the Byton and Byte, uh, the all-electric SUV coming to here to the US and uh, Europe uh, in next year. Uh, under $45,000, that's where the pricing starts. And uh, of course, you can reserve it right now on their website. There's a link in the description of this video for free. There's no cost to reserve your spot. As a matter of fact, I've been thinking about it. Why would you pay for a spot in line like when i'm in mcdonald's i uh anyway it, i i'm a fan and i'm a reservation holder and i'm glad they're sponsors but let's move on back to um to this to the story um now uh the the first car that they're bringing to the production uh, which is it's, it's right now it's id concept but it's basically going to be the first in this id family um and it's this car uh excuse me i, I zoomed in too much I zoomed in too much there. there. I knew there was a car somewhere in that picture. Why Volkswagen insists putting this playful couples taking selfies and pictures? And this is not the, for the only one. Trust me, there's other, you know, as you remember, I featured quite a few of them where you just have some. But, and by the way, no, like, I don't mind that. Like, I like when press pictures are fun, right? Like, and this is also just kind of tells you it's a fun car. You know, this couple is having fun. It's like, so I, but they're like consistently putting couples in there. So I thought it was kind of funny. But anyway, there is a, there's a car in this picture. They're bringing it to the market. Um, Again, the price is still very blurry, but somewhere between 30 and 40,000. Um, looks like they're going to be going to production by the end of the year. So this is kind of becoming a reality pretty quick. Um, the other one is, of course, this one. And people love this because they're bringing the bus together. It's going, you know, they're calling it buzz. Uh, and I think there will be, you know, uh, you know, the, the baby boomers will love this. They have the money, they have the retirement funds, so they, I, I think they'll be, I'll be buying it. I know, I, I got to tell you, this looks kind of cool. I'm, I might get one as well. Like that's, that's pretty cool. Um, then there is ID, uh, uh, ID Cross, which I also think is a pretty cool uh, uh, looking car, um, and it's going to be a, a more of like a, a crossover. So again, I love that one. Then there is a, a, a Vision, and this one's supposed to be uh, the one where the wheel retracts into the dashboard, so like completely self-driving this one i absolutely love like this is just awesome as a matter of fact when i'll be talking about positives and negatives i'll run the footage of this car for you guys um and uh it, so so the lineup is set and and it's and it's and it's here and it's definitely happening but they do need to start bringing it into the production and obviously i'm looking uh, uh, forward to this car by the way check out the side uh, mirror cameras I hope they're just a little bit better than the uh, Audi e-trons, but I'm sure by then they'll figure things out. All right, so let's talk about positives and negatives. All right, so obviously the oh yeah, I promised you guys to run just this video. Yeah, so let's just enjoy that video while I'm talking about it. But uh, so the the positive is obviously hey, listen. Uh, you you need to have a full size SUV in your lineup, so they finally bring it in. I you know and it's and and the commitment is pretty good. You know it's about two year commitment. Yes, I know it's just going to be in China, but hey, I just we just need to see these cars on the road, right? Because they're going to be coming to us sooner or later. Um, so that's definitely positive. Um, I also like that they're not committing to specs. At least they just you know they understand right now that they just need to put it the, put that thing in the lineup. Um, I'm sure they'll give us some. Uh, some specs at the uh, at the Shanghai show, so I'll definitely cover that for you guys. But this is definitely a good thing. Now, as far as negatives are concerned, um, oh, I hate the name rooms. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't know the whole thing is called ID series, and now there's Z's in their thing. And I get again, I get it. I get it. It's, they're reaching the new generation, but I think rooms is just kind of lame. Of course, uh, you know the other negative is that I would think at this point I would just kind of stop. Uh, releasing all these pictures and concepts and stuff like that and i would just at least bring the very first one uh in production the one that the golf looking one um that's where i would kind of uh you know draw the line like just say listen you know for a lot of companies right now it's an execution year right a lot of people are executing tesla's executing Biden's that is executing uh, uh audi's executing porsche executing right so enough of pictures i i just i just want to see at least one so we can uh, once you start producing more concepts then we can start you know relating them for right now you know all you have is an e-golf in a you know and and we get it and it's a great car relatively to what it is uh but but we we need to see the next generation obviously so um that's uh that's where i'm at with uh with with that uh by the way really quick just want to uh, uh, give a quick shout out to one of my newer patreons brian coker thank you so much for joining my patreon community the only place where you can watch me live and thank you to all of my patreons for supporting and contributing to this independent um youtube channel uh, if you want to join uh brian and the rest of my awesome patreons 
browse to the description of this video there's a link there it's pretty simple it's patreon.com slash e4electric and you can become a patreon and join my patreon community guys i really really appreciate everyone's support all right looking forward to your comments other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged Thank <laughs> you.